Hello Africa! <laughs> well, it's great to be back on your screens with the number one entertainment show, Celebrity TV. My name is Mercury and it's going to be an emotional roller coaster today. Why do I say that? Well, you're going to find out in a bit. On the show today, we take you to the Accra International Conference Center where the biggest comedians on the continent actually came together to pull off what we call the 1016 laughs put together by big event house, Charter House. We're going to get into that and also it's going to be an interview with Joey B who happens to be one of the finest rappers on the land in Ghana. Well, so wherever you are in Africa, watch out for this and some celebrity news coming up on your number one show, Celebrity TV with me, Mercury. You ready? Let's get it on. watching celebrity tv we love them we love them you stay tuned you celebrate the tv Celebrity TV. Celebrity TV. Watching Celebrity TV. Celebrity TV. Celebrity TV. Celebrity TV. Number one. Celebrity TV. CCTV. If it's hot, they got it. They make it rock. Hmm. Wow. This is Valerie. I'll be coming up with the latest entertainment news from New York, the Big Apple, the city that never sleeps. We have a lot of news coming up to you on Celebrity TV. Keep watching. Welcome back. Remember, you could actually join our Facebook page, join that big community on facebook.com forward slash Celebrity TV Ghana. Okay, so you actually get on there and let's be family. And if you have any comments about the show, you want to say shout outs to your people out there, you do it on there. Remember, facebook.com forward slash Celebrity TV Ghana. Anyway, my name is Mercury and let's get into rap. Well, just about a week after making an appearance in Ghana at the Sound City Premium Party, hosted by me, myself and I, it was a wonderful one having a Manara and all the rest. Iyanya has actually become $350,000 richer. That's stemming from an endorsement deal with Xenox Computers, which happens to be Nigeria's first certified computer branch. So, um, Iyanya is $350,000 richer. Right, so still in Nigeria, if you love partying like I do, then you better brace up for a mega party, which is going to be with Nigeria's finest and Ghana's finest artists. You're talking about the Sound City VIP exclusive party watch out for that one coming up on the 21st of september and it's going to have no other than mi baby ice prince and the rest of the crew they're going to be in ghana it's going to be a wonderful time last month or better still a couple of weeks ago was iyanya Emanaira and a few others uh, with 4x4 and Sakuri and the rest of the crew actually making it happen at the Excel nightclub but this time it's going to be at Bella Roma in Osu so watch out for that big party coming up MI is coming to Ghana alright so you're still watching your favorite show Celebrity TV with me Mercury and from music we're going to get into music and comedy well that's a beautiful marriage put together by Chatter House Event Master House in Ghana well at the Cry International Conference Center last Saturday it was a great time <laughs> i remember clean the drug man that guy is crazy and also loved the bit from Gordon's and the rest of the guys man it was an overwhelming show i love clean the drunk no homo um i i just love the way he does his thing and man he just gets you cracking up and <laughs> man what's what's what chami kwame doing with this one i think what chami kwame has actually stemmed to be one of the biggest acts in on our land one of the biggest exports Ghana could actually have because he has learned how to put together music and drama and is working out perfect we saw him fall the big fall with Amanda at the Ghana Ghana meets Niger Ghana meets Niger you know and uh, well it's actually made a lot of waves and you know he's just moving on with this drama thing and I think it's a beautiful idea well you're watching celebrity TV with me Mercury right about now we about to do celebrity news stay tuned Once again, welcome to the Celebrity TV News. 
I am your girl Amy now to the highlights of the day. Manifest says Obrafor is the best Ghanaian rapper of all time. Khloe Kardashian and Lama Odu separate. The girls to follow. Madonna beats Steven Spielberg in Forbes top earning celebs list. My Tyson says is on the verge of dying from alcoholism. Lady Gaga, Miley Cyrus, vie for attention at MTV's Video Music Awards. So there you are with the highlights of today's show. Stay with us. Award-winning Ghanaian rapper Manifest has waded into the ongoing debate about who is Ghana's best rapper of all time. The Madina-based artist finally made his views known on the subject when on Monday morning he called Obrafo the best Ghanaian rapper of all time. It is not clear what triggered his early morning declaration except it is coming days after the latter openly spoke about how Obrafo's maiden album Paimuka may also be the best hip life album of the years, ostensibly suggesting the feat is his to beat. The standard of Paimuka, to be honest with you, I think I have not been able to meet that standard and it's a challenge to me to at least come close to it, match it or topple it, he said. My first added, I believe that I will be able to topple it. I have a trust in God and yes, he will make it happen. Amidst talk of drug problems and infidelity, Chloe Kardashian and Lamar Odum have reportedly separated. Rumors about the couple's marriage and Lamar's substance abuse problems have blown up in the past few days, with the most recent frightening report stating that Odum actually went missing for a few days. The rep for the basketball player now says he is fine, but that clearly isn't the case when it comes to his relationship with Chloe. Sources say Kardashian organized an intervention for Odin last week because his crack cocaine problem had worsened since the NBA season ended. When it failed, Chloe went and made it clear that she wanted nothing to do with her husband, kicking him out of the house. The couple is now separated and although neither side has consulted with a divorce lawyer, insiders tell TMZ that an official legal split does seem likely. She may have already earned the title of Queen of Pop long ago, but this year Madonna has ascended her throne on the top of Forbes' top earning celebrity list. Grabbing an estimated $125 million for a period between June 2012 to June 2013, the 55-year-old icon rocketed ahead of Steven Spielberg, who ended up at second place with about $100 million. Her massive success comes mostly thanks to her MDNA World Tour, This is Valerie. I'll be coming up with the latest entertainment news from New York, the Big Apple, the city that never sleeps. We have a lot of news coming up to you on Celebrity TV. Keep watching. Welcome back from entertainment news on Celebrity TV and more entertainment news actually coming your way next week. So watch out for that. Anyway, it's time to go to BAM. And when I talk about BAM, I mean Black Avenue Music, actually chaired by D Black, who's doing very well. Well, D Black just, um, discovered i may put it joey b who happens to be one of the hottest acts at the moment he just dropped his new single cigarette mm, cigarette no not that cigarette he's going to explain that in an interview coming up on your screens right about now in North Cape and what exactly is happening here is Celebrity TV coming into the offices of BAM which happens to be Black Penu Music and we're going to talk to Joey B he's done a strawberry ginger you got me so we're going to get in there and see exactly how it goes down there so stay tuned to Celebrity TV Joey B coming to you right about now let's do this she be my strawberry ginger my sweet popo we are the love I'm like vanilla like one okay, so too. How they work for the club inside, my fine head to two. I should too. This girl approached me like hi, me a guy, she the me one travel too. She said I look like a writer, but I don't mind her cause I don't get booked. Alright, so it's Joey B and Mercury with BAM Black Avenue Music. Hey man, you 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 you're all over the TV screens. Beautiful pictures, beautiful videos, man. How does it feel? 
Sorry, I'm, I'm very, I'm very happy. You know, yeah. Sorry, it goes into it. So, how did this whole uh, thing start? Uh, the thing with Black Other New Music. How were you discovered? Well, it was through the song, the hit song there. You know, yeah. And the thing is, I live right next to the studio, so yeah. I just had the beat, and I felt that I mean, let me just do some couple of bars on it. So I told D and like, man, so what's he do for people? So, I'm like, just give me the story, like, just give me the story, like, I did it. I put it on the internet, and boom, that's where it started. And I started doing songs with you here and there, you know. And people were like, you know, we're very compatible, so why not, you know, like, exactly, so I just signed to it. Oh, well, you, how did you get, you had to jump the wall? Yeah, I had to jump the wall. <laughs> I didn't pass my game to I didn't jump the wall straight. Yeah. So, so, you got on Vera, and feedback was massive. And, um, Black of the New Music just thought of, you know, getting you into, like, real business. And then uh, Ginger Business started. Now, before that, <laughs> and before that, what exactly were you doing? Um, before that, I was in school, but yeah, I finished the uni. I studied marketing, you know, business, business marketing and stuff like that. So now it's like I'm there. I can start working, but you know, I just wanna, I just wanna con- concentrate on the music right now because I, mean, I feel that D Black's putting more work into it. So if I leave it right now, it's, it's gonna be a problem. So yeah, I'm giving 100 percent to music right now. And then later on we see what we can do about work. Now we are celebrity TV. We we believe in actually promoting acts like that, you know, acts who are very serious, who are doing fantastic stuff to actually enhance the Ghana music industry. Now when we do music out here and the music is going out, we want the music to have a certain feel, it has a certain look. And when you talk about that look, talking about videos and all of that. Strawberry Ginger playing on your screen right now is one of the videos you actually vouch for. Now, who shot this video? Geo, Geo, famous films. Yeah. Well, I, I saw the scenes. I saw it, all this graffiti stuff going on in there. How, 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 how did you? Win? Um, well, they, I think they call it backdrop. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. So it, it was, it was more, you know, art. We tried to play. We tried to be very different with, you know, other videos that are out. You know. I mean, big up to every video that, that's out, but you know. That's the truth. We're, we're just trying to sway away from um, the normal stuff. You understand? So yeah, we did. We, instead of going to a location, again a location, we did backdrop. You know, like beach scenes and skyscrapers and things like that. The thing it came out like, or what did it came out big. Now, if you if you ask me, you see, I saw something which was very innovative. Okay, at the uh, video shoot, I saw these graffiti boys actually doing a live, yeah, live. live. Like exactly. Like exactly. Like but yeah, that's that's crazy. That's big big shout outs to FK. The guy the guy that they call it FK. Yeah. Hey FK, big up to you, FK. Man, that was some beautiful work out there. So it, it must have taken a lot of time to put that together. Interestingly, the guy didn't really take too much time. The guy is like he's too good. You can just give him a ball and see Charlie drum and he just do it. Hey, FK, holla, 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 man. <laughs> So, so okay, so you go you go through that video. How long did it take you to shoot a video? Um, two days. Yeah, two days. It doesn't have to take a week to do that beautiful video, man. Great, Jill's great like that. I mean, you know, Jill. Jill, big up to you, man. Famous people uh, enjoying this big family. Okay, so we're talking about D Black. Let's talk about D Black, man. Uh, what, what would you describe D Black as? He's a very you know humble person. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very, very like, hard. more like a brother. Yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. What do you say? So obviously, you're, you're not actually considering leaving Black Avenue music yet. Because um, right about now, you're on Vivo. On YouTube. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, shouts to Deep Black, too. Yeah, Deep Black, Deep Black got me that kind of, you know, hookup. And it's, it's, it's very rare in the Ghanaian music industry. Like, people don't. People don't, don't haven't gotten that opportunity. Yeah. All right, so um, let's talk about the next two years, the next five years. Joey B, where are you gonna be? Uh, I'm gonna be somewhere that I had a dream about. I had a dream. We had a dream. Exactly. I'm with the king right now. <laughs> you know, I, I I see myself. I see myself as being a very 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 big artist. So yeah, I think I'm gonna be one of the legends. Yeah, because I feel my style is very. I didn't learn from anybody. Like I said, I think it's God's given. Songs are unique and your titles are unique. Cigarette. Exactly. <laughs> very, very, very rare title by um, titles like Asuko Bomb, Chop King, Strawberry Jean, that's great. You know what I'm saying? So it was very... And why you had to be on Vera. Exactly. 
You know what I'm saying? So it's very rare. It's very, very, very rare. Yeah. Kind of music industry, how do you see it? I, I know you haven't really had the opportunity of um, maybe being part of other industries so that you could make comparisons, but you've been in it for some time now. How would you describe it? It's very tough. You know, to make it to make it in the industry or for the people to accept you, very, very tough. That's that's my experience. I mean it's been it's been like barely three years or two years. My experiences are very, very tough. Can you get you know like example like when you have a song it's a good song but if you don't have a good video or a video um Chinese won't buy it yes, like they will categorize you in a way they won't they won't they won't put you in a big boy level they will just ah you're just this but what do you think accounts for this um i think it's management Ghanaians Ghanaians are scared to invest like, it's not everybody yeah it's not everybody that would like to really put money or pump money so, like yeah, I, I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, talk bad about Ghanaian, but Nigeria is doing. You know what I mean? And I must make it too. You know what I'm saying Nigerians putting money. If it's a stone, they'll put money in just a little stone and make it very big. I keep saying this. See, if you have a, if you, if you have a cat, right, and you, you put a cat on television every 6 a.m., that cat is going to be a star. <laughs> That's very true. Very, very true because people age them wage them money big it's like that you blow like Nigerians actually understand yeah. this this whole philosophy better oh Donna I don't know how to think but I'm just hoping that you no no hard feelings man I just think we need to change is attitude now change and you know this industry could actually you know be something that the nation would in, uh, benefit massively from anyway um it's been great hanging out with you joey b and i know you're not going to change to joey c you definitely have a word for your fans out there because your ghana loves you and uh your fans all across africa are watching you right now nigeria um sierra leone liberia uh south africa everybody's watching because we are on the biggest networks in the world so um I want to say keep supporting Joey B, keep supporting AF Remy saying busy movements, um, keep supporting everything that I do, the videos that I'm going to drop, you know, I think that's going to be a very big year, like maybe music. a couple of months to come, you know, my album is going to drop like very soon, called greater than, yeah, a couple of songs are going to drop before the album, and videos as well, very necessary, Ghana, yeah, watch out for that, and go on my Twitter, my Twitter is at one real Joey B. My Facebook is GH Joey B. Um, my, um, I, my, my Facebook is overdue. So go and go and like my fan page. Facebook, Facebook is at Joey B. Joey B. Joey B. I'm saying it again. Facebook.com slash Joey B. Give me the like. Let's go. Let's go. We're supporting Ghana Music. That's exactly what we're doing here at Celebrity TV. It has been me, Mercury, and Joey B. And we're out like that. I should. This girl approached me like hi, me a guy, she the me on travel She said I look like a writer, but I don't mind her cause I look at And it's time to bow out, but I wanna say a big thank you to you for actually staying with us, spending time with us on Celebrity TV, wherever you are in Africa. Now I wanna say big thanks to my able team, Hunter, who's been on the camera, great guy doing great works over there. And more coming your world. So I wanna say big ups to you, CJ, and the rest of the crew. Hey Jones, I hope it's going good. Right, so it's Mercury. You can actually follow me on Twitter at my Mercury. M-E-R-Q-U-R-Y. Okay, let's get it going on. Meanwhile, Celebrity TV Ghana is it's on facebook get on there and if you want to say shout to any friend out there if you are actually want to say happy birthday to a friend out there we'll do it especially for you right here on celebrity tv celebrity style you know see okay so i'm out mercury we'll be back next week yeah. Yeah.